Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to edit screenshots from Create a Sim in a 2D editor. And the easiest way to do that is by installing a package file to your game's mods folder that changes the preset background in Create a Sim. So you're going to have to download or make a package file that does that, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. To get the most flexibility when you edit, your background should either be green or blue, much like a green or blue screen that you'd use to edit other photos. If you don't want to make your own package file, you can follow the link in the description box below that'll take you to the one I made, or you can just Google since for create a sim background, and you should find plenty. And the wonderful creation you're looking at right now is an edit I made. Right, so here I'm just showing you uh, an example of what an edit can look like. This is one I did for The Sims Resources, and here you can find the download for the package file that I talked about. You just save that in your mods folder, you find wherever you have Electronic Arts installed, The Sims 4, and you press your mods folder and save it however you want in there. The thing with uh, cast backgrounds is that you can only have one installed at a time, so make sure you don't have any one, anything else that will interfere with the one you just installed. Now that we've downloaded our package file, we'll take a look at the 2D editor. I'm using paint.net, it's very easy to use, however, it does not come with the wrap photo effect that we need to edit our pictures, but I'll show you later how to install a plugin that fixes that, and that is also super easy. I'll demonstrate properly later how to use these effects, but I'm just quickly doing it now so it's not also unfamiliar later. now I'm just going to check that I've got my package file installed and then I'll open The Sims 4 and go to Create a Sim. Before you start a new game, you're going to need to enable mods and CC in your game options as in order for your package file to work. So just make sure everything is allowed in game. After I made sure that everything is enabled, I'm just going to press New Game and it'll take us straight to Create a Sim. As you can see, our package file was correctly installed and it's working perfectly. I just want to mention that the background does not only show up when you start a new game and it will still be there if you choose to edit sims you already have in your world state, so you don't have to start a new game every time you want to take screenshots in Create a Sim with this background. So here's just a random sim, let's just call him Carl, and we're going to take some screenshots of Carl, but I want to make him pose a bit for us first, so I'm just going to do that here. I have some poses installed on these traits, and to take screenshots, you're just going to press C on your keyboard. You can do this anywhere in the game, it will take a screenshot, and I think we'll take another one. And now that we have two screenshots, we're just going to go back to our editor. So in the editor, we're going to add a new layer and import the pictures we just took. Here you see the ones we just took and some other ones that I have. And to get rid of the background, we're clicking Effects, Photo, and Simple Green Screen or Chroma Key. You may have to change the tolerance if parts of your sim goes missing, so we'll just make sure that Carl got all his parts, and if we switch to blue, we'll see that some of the details disappear, but we can bring them back by changing tolerance. Now that we've made sure that Carl has all his parts, we basically have a floating Carl or a floating sim, and we can do whatever we want. Uh, I'm going to edit him into another photo. I have another canvas open here on the side. And I'm just copy pasting him in. I'm just cutting him out a bit here just to make it easier to handle. Copy paste it just control C and paste him in again is control V. And here we have poor Carl. He ended up on Tatooine. I hope you like sand and that's all. Really, that's all the editing magic I can give you. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are super creative and can do anything uh, with this. I'm not one of those. So I'm just going to add in the other screenshot we took. And I didn't show you earlier where to find your screenshots, but it's 
almost in the same place as where you find your mods folder. Instead of going to your mods folder, you just scroll down a bit and you can find um, a folder that says screenshots. If you hear children screaming in the background anytime during this video, it's because there is children screaming in the background. I live like 20 meters away from kindergarten, so I apologize for that. And we're copy pasting Carl, the other Carl, Carl 2.0, into our Tatooine photo as well. And there we have Carl. Well, he's not really dressed for the climate here, so I just wish him good luck with that. The next step is pretty obvious. We're just going to save our photo. Remember, save it as an actual photo and not as a paint file, which I do all the time and I get really frustrated because I can't find my photo, but it's saved as a paint file. So remember to save it as a photo. And bada bing bada boom, our picture is done. Now I'm just going to show you the plugin that we need. I'm going to link both the plugin and the paint.net program you're going to need in the description box below. It's really, really simple to install. You just ins download this zip file. We're going to open our zip file and we're going to need the two files at the top here, the two DDLs, which are the effects that we used earlier, the blue screen and the green screen effect. You're going to go to where you have paint.net installed and the paint.net folder and the effects folder. Here you can see I already have. Here I'm just showing you some of the edits that I've made using the green screen background from Creative Sim and R2D Editor. It's just very simple. I just cut out these models and pasted them onto a background and that's my extent of this editing thing. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope maybe this was kind of helpful and see ya!